Welcome to Make It Plain, the podcast that's trending in the right direction, trending for the right reasons. Here we analyze current events, we analyze hot topics, and here we do not sugarcoat our analysis. We make it plain. I'm your host, Andrew Henriquez, along with my co-hosts, Jared Ryan and Richard Buchanan. Now today, we will be discussing two principal hot topics, bestiality and immortality. Again, please join in the conversation as we're now streaming on Facebook as well as on our YouTube platforms. Without further ado, let's segue into this discussion here. Bestiality. Mm. Trending? Oh, it's trending. It's yeah. trending mm. now. Let's, let's take a look at this first clip that we want to show everyone because there was a 19-year-old girl who was caught on her social media having sex with dogs. Let's mm. play that clip. Another big story out of Jones County, a 19-year-old woman was arrested and charged with committing a sexual act with an animal. The Jones County Sheriff's Department arrested Denise Frazier in the Myrick community on a charge of unnatural intercourse and a charge of aggravated cruelty of an animal. According to the Sheriff's Department, they received a complaint from a concerned resident regarding a graphic video posted to a social media depicting the act between the woman and a dog. Now, Friends, if that does not make your stomach sick, if you are not disgusted by that, there's an issue. Because when I saw that, I was like, mercy, how low have we come as humanity that we would begin to have intercourse with animals? Mm -hmm. And that right there should just show you that we are living in the last days. Because the first thing that comes to mind is how evil, how wicked are men's thoughts Mm -hmm. that we would go that low. And it's one thing, it's not correct, right? But it's one thing if you do it in private. Still wrong. Mm -hmm. But now you're going to post it online for others to see. There's an issue with that. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Um, And we were talking about this earlier on as we were preparing and researching. And, um, you know, the scripture that comes to mind, Leviticus chapter 18, Mm. where it's brought to view some of the abominations Mm. that we will see just before the close of probation, right? Even before the close of probation, we will see these things transpiring. And one of those things that is mentioned in there is bestiality. And what we're seeing right now is simply a fulfillment of Bible prophecy. Mm. What the Bible outlined and said would occur, we're seeing it even now. And so as, as you said, Jared, beautifully put, we're seeing the demoralizing and the degradation mm. of our society as we, as we well know it, yes. right? And everything now, notice everything that usually, everything we're, we're seeing happening is being broadcasted on social media. Mm. So what people do in the dark, they're not, they're not even hiding these things anymore. They're very bold in, in proclaiming and, and showing their sins, mm. right? And again, it shows that society is, is headed into a, a decline. Oh, yeah. A decline, right? Oh, yeah. But if you talk to a lot of people, they'll, they'll tell you that, oh, no, we're, we're trending upward. So yeah. Humanity is getting um, purer and purer every time, more yeah. intelligent. Yeah. But the Bible tells us clearly in 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 3 that in these last days, men will be without natural affection. Mm-hmm. Now, many times we, we look at that and we say, okay, that is the homosexuality yeah. uh, lifestyle. lifestyle. Mm-hmm. That's right there also in Leviticus 18, right before it talks about bestiality. Mm-hmm. But it's also talking about bestiality. That's not a natural affection to mm-hmm. be attracted or even to have intercourse with animals. Right. And I believe, I am confident that was happening in the days of Noah. Yeah. The Bible says, as it was in the days of Noah, mm-hmm. so it will be when the Son of Man is coming. Yeah. And in the days of Noah, animals were wiped out. Why? Yeah. Because the humans were amalgamating animals. Uh, right? Good point. Mm-hmm. I believe they were also committing bestiality. Therefore, God wrote it in a few uh, following books. Right. The mm-hmm. book of Leviticus. Mm-hmm. What about the Baphomet? Mm. Could the Baphomet sign also, I mean, the image, the, the statue, statue, the statue yeah. also be promoting mm. bestiality? Oh, yeah. Yes. And as you said about this lady, how old was she? 19. 19, apparently. Right? Yeah. And uh, practicing bestiality. When you consider 
in the days of Lot. Mm-hmm. In Ezekiel chapter 16, in verse 49. And it speaks about how people were actually bored. They were idle. Mm-hmm. So it's due to idleness. Yeah. Mm. It led to these type of sins in Lot's day, even in this day and age. Mm-hmm. And people are broadcasting these things. Why? To influence others. Mm. To carry out the same sinful practices. Mm-hmm. And just as it says in Leviticus 18, 22, 23, verse 24 through 26 says, when you see these sins, God is going to vomit the earth mm-hmm. out, mm-hmm. cast them out, the close of probation. Isaiah 24, verse 1 through verse 6 now says, when you see these things, the second coming of Jesus Christ is near. Mm-hmm. Now, my question is, did they carry those animals to see the doctor, to have a a psychological evaluation Mm -hmm. because the dogs went through trauma. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. I mean, the article article mentioned, if you go back and read, those those who are joining us here online, go back and read that article. The the article goes on to say that the dogs had to go into mental therapy, right? Because as you said before, the trauma that they went through, because again, this is an unnatural act, so I'm sure the dogs were confused, right? And if you go back to Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 20, verse 23, I believe, it says at the, en- at the end of that scripture, it says this is confusion. So we see what kind of state society is in, a confused state. And it is also destroying the image of God uh, in man. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That's why we're covering this. Yep. Not just because it's a hot topic, But how does it relate to God's people? Mm -hmm. What sign is it portraying? Last days, yes. But again, God made man in his own image. Mm. In the image of God made he what? Male. Um, Male. No, female and dog. Is that what it said? No, male and female. female. Mm -hmm. Make sense now? It's destroying the image of God in man. Yes. And when this took place, then came the first advent. Yes. Mm. So as we're seeing this, then will come the second advent of Jesus. Mm. God is not going to sit back much longer yeah. while his image mm. is being defaced in man. Mm. Right. Quick point on that um, before we you know, transition. But when you look, I believe the theory of evolution also has a part to contribute in what's taking place right now. Because when men believe that we come from animals, when we come from mm. monkeys, mm-hmm. we're not made in the image of God. Therefore, there's nothing wrong with committing sexual acts with animals. That's mm-hmm. where we came from. Yeah, yeah. So I believe the theory of evolution has a part to play in destroying the image of God, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, beautifully put. I mm-hmm. mean, you see the desensitization of society right now. Um, sad, how, sad. How low can men get? I don't mm-hmm. know if you can get any lower than that. Oh, we can. We can. <laughs> and then the reason I say this is because Jeremiah 17 verse 9 says, the heart is deceitful and desperately wicked above all things. Who can know it? Man. So we don't know the depths of sin that we will go to if we are outside of Christ. Right. So may I ask a question? Will, will there be a new alphabet connected to LGBT now? I wouldn't be surprised. Or maybe B to the second degree. Mm. You know, B to the first degree is bisexual, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. But B to the second degree becomes what now? Bestiality. 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 Is that where we're going? The floodgates seem to be opening up wider and wider. And, mm-hmm. one, and once that fully opens, it's free for all. Yeah. Anything goes. Let's transition now, right? Mm -hmm. And address the immortality Mm. news that's now trending. And the connecting link here is anyone who is practicing sin, period. Mm -hmm. Knowing sin, period. Whether it's bestiality, whatever. Sin. And refuses to surrender all to Jesus Christ. That person is not going to receive immortality, Mm. When this mortal Mm -hmm. puts on immortality, Mm -hmm. won't be saved. So that's the connecting link here as we segue from the first to the second hot topic. Mm -hmm. So what's trending as it relates to immortality? Well, let's, let's show you right here on the screen here, friends. Take a look at this here. Notice what the Daily Mail says here. This, this drop today, actually, it says the scientist claims that humans will be able to upload consciousness onto computers by the end of this year as he urges people to start recording their elderly relatives now to prepare. Mm. I mean, this is very interesting because this, doc, this scientist here, he says basically, listen, 
if you if you I'm looking at the article right now, you said that if people have enough video and voice recorders recordings of their loved ones, mm. there is a 100 percent chance. This is him quoting now. I'm quoting him a hundred percent chance of relatives living with you forever. Mm. So this is now the uh, how you can say this the, the promotion of the immortality of the soul. Right. Outside of Christ. Outside of Christ now. This point. is this this is uh, their digital version yeah. Right, yeah. of natural immortality. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And and man has this obsession with living forever. I yes. mean, we were talking about this as well, but you know, naturally a person doesn't want to die. Who who wants to die? Right? Mm. Naturally a person like oh, That's okay, correct. I don't want to die. But now they're going outside of the confines of how God organized mm. the human nature, the human structure. If you God said, listen, if you sin, the sinner shall die. Sure. That's the yeah. consequence of it. But mm-hmm. man is saying, no, I don't want to die. Mm-hmm. Right? I'm going to go outside of what God said and create technologies that can further the immortality of the lifespan of humans. Right. Now, let's put this into perspective because, you know, when you look at the Bible, it clearly shows us there, that there are only two sides. You have the side of Christ, the side of Jesus, and the side of Satan. Mm-hmm. Now, we understand, and maybe if this is your first time, uh, we can share this with you, but the only way to have immortality is to be in Christ. Mm-hmm. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, mm-hmm. right? So if we have a relationship with Christ, we have our sins surrendered, we're following him day by day, he will give us immortal life. But Satan now has perpetrated this lie from the beginning. As he told Eve, hath God surely said that, that you will die if you eat of this fruit? So he was create he was creating doubt in the mind of Eve saying you can sin and still live on. And as we see this movement with the AI technology trying to make man live on outside of Christ. Christ is not men- mentioned in this article. There's nothing about surrender of sins. We can tell this is a movement of Satan. Mm-hmm. And since it is a movement of, a movement of Satan, we better believe that Satan and his agents, his demons are going to hijack this technology. Yeah. And let's consider how this will be an attack on the word of God. Mm. Imagine we are preaching the gospel to individuals. Mm. And the Bible tells us in Romans chapter 2 and verse number 7, that through well-doing, we receive immortality. Mm -hmm. And people don't want to change their sinful lifestyle practices they would respond and say to us, keep your gospel. Mm. We don't need to hear that Mm -hmm. because now AI technology is offering us immortality. Mm -hmm. It might not be in the same way, but it is a version. It's a part of immortality. First Timothy, second Timothy chapter one and verse 10, which says immortality comes to us through the gospel. Mm -hmm. It's a rejection of the gospel as people are now looking to technology to receive immortality. Yes, Mm -hmm. yes. And and I I love that point you made there, Jared, earlier on, because again, we see the sentiments of the serpent, Satan himself, those very same sentiments that he mentioned to Eve at the very beginning being echoed down to our ages, Mm -hmm. to our day, even today. Had God said, you shall, sure, you shall not surely die. But what did God say in Genesis 2? If you eat of the fruit thereof, you shall die. If you sure. disobey me, you shall die. That's God's word. And right? that death is a second death. Exactly. All right. right. Yep. That's the second death, you know. Um, and there's a, there's, an art, there's, a, there's a clip. Well, hold on. Hold on. Because we were talking okay. before we came live. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if you think about artificial intelligence, Mm-hmm. Where is it connected to? A cloud, the cloud. internet, that, yeah, it's an Electric- server, electricity. Yes. So what would happen if these individuals upload their 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 audio files, their memories, the their thoughts, pictures, yeah. all of that thoughts, all of it? What's going to happen? Well, first of all, oh, anything yes, yes, man yes. made, anything that is man made, lasts forever. No, no. no. It always has a flaw. No. There's always no. flaws. So what's going to happen when there is a power outage? Their, their version of immortality mm-hmm. becomes it mortal. Becomes, <laughs> becomes mortal. Right. Right. Uh, right, all right. Yeah. Someone hacks into the cloud. Yeah. The servers. And, and their immortality <laughs> becomes what? Mortal now. Mortal, yeah. Or steals a person's thoughts or mm-hmm. what have you. We can see where this can, can tend to. I mean, very good point. Very oh, good yeah. point. I mean, I, I would not, I mean, 
man, <laughs> hijacking your thoughts. Right. But you can see, again, where this technology can lead to, right? And we see, again, who's behind it. This mm. is Satan himself mm. behind this technology. Because, again, anything could be used for good or for bad. But we see through these articles where it's tending, right? And, and that actually transitions, transitions us into this next clip we want to play for you. Or those of you in the chat, um, we're going to play this clip here. Um, it's from the same piece of technology. Mm -hmm. This mother who lost her daughter, I believe, mm -hmm. um, and she was able through this technology, right. quote unquote, was able to to reunite right. with her dead daughter. Right, right. I'm not gonna say anymore. Let's roll this clip here. I mean, I mean, we can simply see that it is man, yes, who is attempting to be God. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, does virtual reality has its place? Yes, mm -hmm. but this is out of place. Yes, yeah. it is. I mean, now when you look at um, the enemy, Satan in scripture, he has the power to take on different forms. Again, let's go back to the Garden of Eden. What medium did he use to deceive Eve? Serpent. A mm -hmm. serpent. He did not come as angel Satan, you could say, or or angel Lucifer. Mm -hmm. No, he came in the form of a serpent. In Second Corinthians chapter eleven, verses thirteen down through verse 15, it tells us that he has power to transform himself into uh, an angel. angel of light. And his, his demons, his ministers, can transform themselves into ministers of righteousness. Mm -hmm. So this is what is going to take place in the last days. Satan is going to use these mediums in order to deceive people. Now, So, so just as uh, Satan hijacked yes. the serpent, can he hijack AI technology. Mm -hmm. Now watch this as, as we begin to share the truth from the Bible, that the dead know not anything. And we were just talking about the servers. What, what happens when the servers go down, the electricity goes down, mm -hmm. their version of immortality becomes mortal. But the Bible shows us the devil has power to work miracles. So let, let's think of this for a second. Let's say the power that goes down, but then the, the TV is still playing. Or now the person that you were viewing as your family family member is in front of you mm -hmm. you would view that as a miracle mm -hmm. when naturally this this apparition right should not have been there exactly because the power went off went exactly. down and so we have to be able to trust the bible over our senses because these things as we can see from the media they're happening now but they're going to happen on a more miraculous scale very soon and the bible says if it were possible they would deceive even the very elect. Mm. I mean, that's a beautiful point there. That's a very good point because as we see this technology, it's advancing every day. There's something new coming out every day, every day. And of course, we're seeing where it's tending to. But again, where does the Bible stand on this? Can, we, can, can our dead loved ones, can we reunite with our dead loved ones? Can they come back to us? Is that video clip that we just saw, is that mother really talking to her dead daughter? Mm. No, the Bible clearly tells us in Scripture, Ecclesiastes 9, verse 5, Psalm 6, verse 5 as well, that the dead know nothing. There's no remembrance of them when they perish. Mm -hmm. So the Bible is very clear on this point that we cannot, we don't have to be deceived, right? If we, are because, if we are knowledgeable, if we are understanding what Satan is doing, then we can escape his sneers, escape his traps. Because as you said before, he's going to transform himself into an angel of light. He's going to mm -hmm. come and appear as if we are really uniting mm -hmm. with our dead loved ones. Mm -hmm. But if we as Christians understand what the Bible says and educate those who are naive or who are th those who are ignorant, they too can escape these snares of Satan. And that's why we need to join in this conversation mm -hmm. as AI technology and offering people immortality in the form of digital platforms mm -hmm. is trending. Mm -hmm. We as God's professed people should now join in the conversation and enlighten the people of the dangers mm -hmm. of these so-called devices mm -hmm. yeah. and what truth is. Because yeah. if we are silent, the people are going to be led astray. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we have to make our voices be heard and you know it, we have to make it, make plain. it plain. That's right. right. And That's I right. can see this... Um, this type of technology blowing up in the near future where it becomes now a, um, I'm, I'm not sure of the word I'm looking for, but a service where you, you can pay for to exchange. John, hold on. It happened during the COVID-19 pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. 
because many people lost their loved ones and didn't have a chance to say goodbye right. before he or she died. So now they have this technology now to kind of have closure yeah. with their loved ones. How many will accept this? Right. Mm. Hook, line, and sinker. Exactly. Mm. Uh, I was thinking about the word marketable service. That That's what it can become very shortly as the technology increases. And, you know, there's some people, they may not be fully religious or fully into the Bible, but they may look at, let's say, a, a psychic reader mm-hmm. and say, oh, that's, that's spiritualism, that's demonic, I'm not doing that. But what about this now? It's technology. We all mm-hmm. use technology. I, I, I will do this. It seems safe. We're not doing anything with crystal balls, right? Yeah, yeah. Let me talk to my loved one. And this would be a means to counteract the truth as it's being presented from the Bible. The dead know nothing. Oh, but, but what about these guys over here? I can go see my, my dead loved one right now. Mm. Let's mm. talk about this in one aspect of how dangerous the AI technology is. The AI chatbot mm. that led to someone dying, I believe. Committing, yes. Yeah, committing suicide, I believe. And, that, and that's where we're transitioning next. Because again, it's all in the same sphere. So we're showing how dangerous this technology can be in the hands of someone being led by another spirit. And do you remember recently the AI chatbot came out saying, basically, man designed, man invented this, this AI chatbot, mm-hmm. and the AI chatbot took on a life of its own, mm-hmm. now dictating to he or she who created it, mm-hmm. made it, mm-hmm. set me free. Yeah. Mm. Let me control the world. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I want to be human. Mm. See where this is tending to? Those in the chat, you see where this is tending to? Mm. You see Satan setting up this grand scheme. Let's play, let's roll this here, friends. Notice what it says here. This is from Euro News. It says, man ends his life. He committed suicide after an AI chat box encouraged him to sacrifice himself to do what? Stop climate change. Mm. Of all the things, I mean, as sad as that is, of all the things to commit suicide for, this man took his life because he was encouraged by something that was artificial, mm. wasn't real. And for what purpose? Climate change. Climate change. Mm. Climate change. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm flabbergasted. Right. It, it's, a, it's very saddening. It is. And when you look at technology, um, they can do what man programs it to do. So either man, the creators prog- programmed it to be able to influence somebody negatively or as we have been talking about the devil himself and his agents hijacked this technology Mm -hmm. to use it now to talk to this man hey go ahead and commit suicide because i'm sure there were other things going on in his life Mm -hmm. but whatever conversations or interactions he had with this ai technology tipped him over the scale Mm. and that's exactly again what satan has been doing throughout human history using various mediums various covers and disguises to deceive mankind we have to be awake yes, awakened yes we have to stay woke <laughs> in a good way <laughs> exactly. Amen. yes yes I mean, just as in the first the first hot topic with bestiality mm-hmm. and how satan actually hijacked the beast the serpent beast mm-hmm. in the field mm-hmm. now you have these devices that he is about to hijack this one says that this man committed what? Suicide. When you look at the second temptation in Matthew 4, mm-hmm. it was Satan personating mm-hmm. an angel mm-hmm. of light. It is. Yes. Same principle. Mm-hmm. And uh, tried to persuade Christ to cast himself down mm. from that pinnacle, which would be commit suicide. suicide. Yes. Kill yourself. Mm. Perfect. Parallel. Since Satan did that by by uh, taking on the appearance of an angel of light mm. and tempted Christ, what will Satan not do mm. in these last days? Hijacking various devices and lead people to commit sin, mm-hmm. lead people to even commit suicide. Mm-hmm. Now, we're told in a book called Early Writings, page 84, Right, 87, that in the last days, we're told that Satan is going to bring back the appearance of our dead loved ones. Mm -hmm. And they will tell us false doctrines. Mm -hmm. And many are going to believe. Why? Because these apparitions of your dead loved ones 
are going to have the same sound, mm-hmm. the same look, the same smell, the same, same smell, same aroma. feel. Oh yeah, it's going to look and feel as so, if they are the real. The stage is being set. Yeah, yeah, and 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 again. You know, what we're talking about here is, is, again, nothing new. You see all of these things transpired in the movies. Mm-hmm. You know, think of that, that, that film, I, Robot, I believe, that's mm-hmm. Will Smith, where AI technology literally took over. Yeah. And they started killing humans, right? So, I mean, again, what you see in the movies, many times, we see in real life. So, again, this is nothing, this is nothing new, but we're, again, we're, we're showing the people, educating them where the trajectory is headed to. And mm-hmm. Satan's prime objective when everything is said and done, his prime objective is to cause each one of us to lose our salvation. Mm. He wants each one of us to be lost. And whichever method he chooses to use, he's satisfied. This man took his life. Mm. Others, who, who knows what, what, what other methods that Satan is using to entrap and to ensnare and to destroy the human race. But we know, the Bible teaches, that Satan's prime objective is to get each one of us to lose our own salvation. He doesn't want any of us to be saved. And so, again, we're seeing with this AI technology, if we're not careful and get too wrapped up because of convenience, mm-hmm. we too will be ensnared by Satan and his devices. Because mm-hmm. the great controversy is over worship. Yeah. That's, that's it. This is where everything is tending. Everything. Yeah. False worship. That's mm-hmm. it. There's only two Versus sides. Versus true worship. worship yeah. That's right. Yeah. There's only two sides. And so, you know, we're not saying technology is bad. We obviously use technology. Of course. That's how we're doing these podcasts right now. Mm-hmm. Technology is can be used for good. Mm-hmm. It can be used for bad. All we're saying is let's stay awake. Let's stay in the word of God. And let's just keep our, our spiritual eyes open so yes. that we will not be deceived by any of the mediums that Satan has for us. And the way that we stay awake is by watching. It's by praying. Mm-hmm. It's by working for the salvation of others. As we're doing what Jesus did, he will not allow us to be lost or to be deceived. Mm. He wants us to be saved more than we desire to be saved. Mm. Well, mm-hmm. that sounds like it. it. Seems as if you landed the spiritual plane. I did. Friends, again, we want to thank you for joining us for Make It Plain. As you can see, the podcast that is trending in the right direction and for the right reasons so we can awaken individuals to remain vigilant, to remain prayerful in these last days. Remember, like, share, comment, invite a friend to join us on the next episode where we don't sugarcoat our biblical analysis of current events, but we make it plain. God bless.